Lastly, really quick, uh, school, because you you're you're the uh, the Kyrie whisperer. Uh, <laughs> so it came out. Uh, <laughs> it can story came out this morning that Nike uh, is not um, looking for looking to resign Kyrie Irving. Um, I, I mean, obviously, it's based on his you know him not being around or it's because it's, obviously they haven't said exactly the reason, but I'm sure it's dealing with, you know, the amount of games he had to miss this season, um, not being vaccinated. Um, but do, do you see this as a trend where companies start pulling endorsements with players like, a let's say, I say sex that both of these guys play for the Nets, but Ben Simmons, who we, you know, have missed just missed an, an entire year, Kyrie. You know, for whatever reasons, but these guys that are are not playing. Do you think we're going to start seeing more of this with, within um with these companies? Maybe, but these guys are their own brands, and so their social media, their influence, their teams, their PR management teams will will magnify whatever it is that they're selling. So um, the one thing about Kyrie um, specifically um, that I think is interesting is, is um, he comes from an entrepreneurial business background, uh, his dad, uh, with his dad rather. And so you did see Kai release a, an independent line uh, with his wife called Her Kai and I. And um, from my understanding from folks that I've spoke with has done fairly well. And um, so I think in this space, athletes are their own brands. And if it doesn't work out with sneaker companies, you saw it with Stefan Marbury with his sneakers and you saw his impact with China, mm -hmm. a whole nother country and uh, he gets bread. So if, if Nike were to pull, I, I, I would imagine uh, that players would uh, find other ways to uh, foster their brands within either a new company or their own company. I mean, look what Shaq did as well. Another one, you know, Shaq didn't like what was going on. He did his own thing. And I mean, Shaq's made a boatload of money off of sneakers and them, them things don't even look good. So, you know, it's, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Shaq. But I got to call Spade Spade. We from New York. If it don't look good, it don't look good. I'm sorry. I'll tell you right now, Shaq sneakers ain't ever look good. You know, shout out to Steph Curry, but them... They ain't never look good in Under Armour joints. James Harden ain't, ain't have a good a good sneaker in, in, a, in a while. He ever had a good sneaker. You know, I got to call this. Listen, I, those guys are in. We had we had the top five uh, on the show a couple of years ago. Uh, top five ugliest sneakers uh, ever. And both Steph and Harden's sneakers made the list. Uh, the Master P sneakers, the original joints, those those joints made the list. And I love Master P, I'm so respectfully, but they made the list of the top five. The uh, when Kobe was back with Adidas, the moon, you know, the moon shoes he had, those were the bounce the ball and <laughs> in the commercial. Yeah, I know he's over. Yeah. Those was on the, on the list as well. Rest in peace to Kobe, but those moon shoes was on the list of the top five ugliest sneakers. So, you know, we listen, we from New York, we're gonna call that if it's if it's not it. We gotta say is and, and and I say it respectfully, just you know, I know people still buy them joints, but they ain't, you know, they ain't, they ain't, you know, they ain't the, the, that's. I'm listening. People be calling me now. <laughs> I, I got why I'm grinning, I'm smiling, but yeah, I gotta watch what I say these days. They listen, be... I mean, listen, if y'all want to donate some sneakers and whatnot, <laughs> 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 but you know what I'm saying. I got, I got to call the spade, spade, man. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> 